Whoa, guys, it's your boy Wings of Redemption, and I haven't done this in a while, so let's go ahead and kick it in full gear. One of the reasons I stopped my Might Rifleman's Creed series is I didn't know much about the weapons, but what I didn't do was go back and do the weapons of World War II. And let's go ahead and jump into the most infamous gun of the entire series, the MP40. Also known as the Machine Pistol 40, obviously. It was designed in, in 1938 off of the design of the MP36, which was a design from Heinrich Balmer's VPM, which you can see right here. Striking similarities, does it not, said the Patty Wong. So let's talk about the design of the MP40 a little bit. The MP40 is a gun made in wartime, and guns made in wartime have one characteristic. They're very easy to make, and here is the reason why. When you have a gun such as the MP40, which is made of stamped metal and shock welding, you pretty much want somebody with very little skill to be able to build it. For that reason, take World War II for example. You have a lot of people basically going to war, and anybody that can write, or read, or have any kind of skill or trade that can pretty much understand a command or order is put into the military. Hell, even when we were invading Berlin, old men and children were fighting us back because it was pretty much a patriotic thing at that point. Just imagine if Japan actually attacked the United States in World War II. Same thing would happen there. Anybody that was coherent or competent would be on the front lines and people that, that might not could have afforded an education would probably be in the factories, you know, trying to build weapons and bullets and guns for the, uh, the German war machine. So that is why the MP40 is made of stamped metal. And due to the popular belief, as you see in movies such as Steve McQueen's The Great Escape or, or Saving Private Ryan, the MP40 was not as widely used as it was seemed to believe in the movies. The MP40 was only issued to squad leaders, paratroopers, and tank crews. It wasn't until the Battle of Stalingrad to when the Russians started doing what they call swarm attacks with a PPSH-41, also known as the Papa Shaw, that they actually started issuing full squads the MP-40. Technically, more full squads were issued the MP-44 than the MP-40, mainly because they were trying to convert the entire military over to their new assault rifle-based technology. The MP40 shot 9mm, 9 times 19mm, and it would shoot 500 rounds a minute, which isn't very fast, to be honest, for a submachine gun of the time. And its barrel length was generally about 10 inches. Its, its muzzle velocity was 380 meter, meters per second, which translates to 1,247 feet. It has an average weight of about 8, eight or 8 to 9 pounds, and it was approximately 1 million up in build. How does the gun work in game? This is the meat and potatoes. Um, the MP40 in Call of Duty World at War is considered the best weapon in the game. Reason being is it's very, very high power. The MP40 in World at War was capable of two shotting people without the perk stopping power. And that means that it, it pretty much freed up the secondary slot to use whatever you wanted. The advantages of using stopping power the MP40, as you see I'm using here, is its ability to one shot to the head. So if you're fighting a person that might be clipping behind cover, stopping power could give you that advantage. And World of War and its cover system is considered a 1, well actually it's considered a 0 in the penetration level. What that means is it has no penetration abilities other than wood right out the gate. If you add a deep impact, you can penetrate light walls with it, but you couldn't penetrate you couldn't penetrate heavy brick walls with it. Light walls being a house wall, brick wall being something like we're standing next to right now. The MP40 is considered the best sniper in the game as well. And this is a kind of like a joke or pun towards its very nice and easy to use open iron sights. Since there was no, since there it well there is an aperture sight option for the gun, but it seems to kick up too much. If you see the open iron sights, are very easy to use and it's very easy to pop fire the gun because of his low rate of fire. Another popular tactic to use the MP40 in Call of Duty World at War is to put Juggernaut and steady aim on, 
and run it with the dual magazine. The dual magazine, unlike Black Ops, basically doubled your magazine size, making it one of the heftiest magazines in the game with 64 rounds per 64 rounds of shot per, per reload. And even though dual magazines generally means two magazines taped together, it made it an extended mag on this game. So unlike guns that should have the advantage on it in real life, such as the Thompson with its 40 to 50 round drum magazine, the MP40 has a 64 round magazine with a very slow rate of fire. This makes it very, very, very new player friendly, makes it very strong, and it means that you hardly ever have to reload on a two shotgun kill, which made the MP40 really, really, really abused and overused, especially with Treyarch's love of increasing hip fire. That's pretty much the MP40 in a nutshell. Um, it's got it got a bad rap, but in my personal experience, the MP40 wasn't that bad to deal with. Um, there's other guns in the series that I'd rather not have to deal with. For example, the quick draw sniper rifles from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 I found much more annoying. The reason is the MP40 has an advantage over all other guns in the game, but the fact is it did have a a good amount of recoil so if the player you're facing uh, with the mp40 against say with the gewehr or the dp28 it would um it would pretty much throw the game off and they would just end into a frantic spray whereas the accuracy of a gewehr or a svt40 would overcome them over medium to long range for the most part really good players of the mp40 could overcome this obstacle but you know they were few and far between but as always, it's been your boy Wings of Redemption. If you could, please give, give this video a good rating. And uh, I'll see you guys again later. What weapon on World at War would you like to know the history of next? It's been your boy Wings of Redemption, and I'm out at 5,000. Peace, pimps!